guys, work here and welcome back to the range. We're at the range today, so if you hear gunfire in the background, we'll just kind of have to deal with it. What we're doing today is we're going to be doing a quick comparison between the Trijicon RM06 RMR in 3.25 MOA dot and the Holosyn 507C. That is a 2 MOA dot with a 32 MOA circle around it. We're going to be comparing these two. I'm just going to be doing a quick little comparison. It's just going to be a 10 shot what I can do comparison between the two. In switching from the Holosyn over to the RMR, I've noticed a couple of things. Traditionally, I've always run Holosyn or Hollerson as it is. You can find a link in the description down below to our Hollerson t-shirts. But from switching from the Hollerson to the RMR, I've noticed that I don't quite like the RMR as much as I thought I was going to. So what we're going to be doing, we're sitting about 10 yards here. I've got my ammo box marking my spot. I'm going to take 10 rounds on the target as quick as I can with the two guns. Now, there is a caveat here. My RMR is on my CZ P10C, so that's my compact CZ P10. My Holosyn is on my P10F, that's my full-size P10. So there is a little bit of a difference there as far as shootability goes, but what I'm going to be doing is I've got a USPSA target set out there, and I'm going to take 10 shots pretty much as quick as I can. And I'm going to try to get them all in the A zone, and we're going to see just how quick I can pull that off, and how many of them are sitting in that A zone for the two optics. I've noticed that at least for me, the RMR, though it gets brighter, I have a harder time finding the dot. So let's go ahead and run a couple of these through. First up, I've got the CZP10F. And I've got my timer here to be able to time those 10 shots. Probably be a good idea if I turned on my dot first. All right, here we go. All right, 10 shots in 407. I dropped one, my second shot went just above the A. So I'm gonna go mark that. So let me take you over to the target here. We can take a look and see. Let me grab my pasties first. So let's run over to the target here. So here is our 10 shot group with the Holosyn 507. I dropped one up here. I'm gonna go ahead and pasty that. I'm gonna leave these, that way if I get another one out, I'll be able to see that I dropped one and that it was due to the RMR. All right, now we're gonna be doing 10 shots with the CZ P10C, the RMR on top, and 10 more rounds. Now, one thing I've noticed about the RMR, no matter how many times I tell it to manually adjust and stay manually adjusted, it keeps switching back to freaking auto mode. With the Holosense, if you don't put it in auto mode, it doesn't go back to auto mode. That's one thing that I'm not the biggest fan of with the RMR here. All right, let's do the same drill. 10 rounds on target from 10 yards. All right, that was 445. I did not drop any rounds that time. They were all within the intended area. I've been putting in a lot of practice with the RMR to get better at it. Um, as far as the as far as the actual sight picture on both of them goes, let me let me show you here. So as you can see, the window on the RMR is slightly smaller, or at least it gives the illusion of being slightly smaller. I don't know if it's those bad ears coming up on the side or what, but the window on the RMR does seem a little bit smaller, and that I think is what's been throwing me off lately. When I go to present, if I even the slightest bit off more with the RMR. The Holosyn is more forgiving. I'm able to present and be able to see the dot more because I feel like there's more window. Again, I don't know if there actually is more window. That's just something that I noticed that I have kind of perceived with it. Now, as far, if you guys are interested in durability and that kind of stuff about the RMR versus the 507, head over to Sage Dynamic, Aaron Cowan's channel. He's got torture chests that people like me just can't afford to do. I run these things, I buy them to be able to run them, I don't buy them to be able to trash them because I need them. But he's got some awesome content as far as that goes. But as far as the optics themselves go, personally, I kind of prefer the Holosyn. It's not just the price point. Now, you guys know that I'm cheap, I'm, but I'm not really cheap, I'm value oriented. I'm not gonna spend money just to spend money. If I'm gonna spend money, it's gonna be on a quality product. So, with that being said, the RMR versus the Holosyn, we're getting very similar quality between the two. The Holosyn isn't quite as fit and finished. Uh, the edges are a little bit sharper. 
However, the durability is there, the usability is there, and to me, I just like it a little bit more. So thanks guys for watching. That's my quick rundown of the RMR versus the 507. Both of them are the top of the line carry optics. You can't go wrong with either one of these optics. And if you decide to go out and spend the money on an RMR, you will not be looked down upon by me. If you have the money, the RMR in the end is probably the better optic. It is just a little bit more rugged, but if you've got Holison money, don't feel bad about buying a Holison dot. They are tanks that will last for a long time and with a six to 10 year battery life, you don't have to worry about that much either. So thanks guys once again. Remember if you found the video useful, go ahead and like it and subscribe down below. If you like what we do here on the channel and you wanna help out a little bit, head on over to our Patreon page. That's patreon.com slash work the trigger. Remember I appreciate everyone of you. Until next time, do your research, get informed, and get to work. Yeah.